So today we are going to look at the depth first search algorithm and it's going to be done using queues and this is part 11. Okay, so let's see how it works. We are not going to write the code now, but we are just going to go through the algorithm. In the breadth first search, which is this, we went through it and we used a queue. So using a stack, we can do depth first search. I've actually uh, set up the stack here. Again, we're also going to need a uh, visited array. So we have visited to indicate the node we have actually visited. Okay, so the idea of depth first search is that you are going to check only one child at a time. Remember in breadth first search, we check this node and place the two children on the queue. But in depth first, you are going to check the node and place only one child in the stack. And anything you place on the stack, you are going to also write it in Visitate. So let's go to do it now. So the first thing we are going to do, we are going to go with the root G, we place it on the stack and also place it on Visitate as well. Okay. So the next step is to check the children of G, but only one child at a time. And anything you check, you're going to place it on the stack and also place it in Visitate at the same time. So this is C, the left child. So we are going with this left. I'm going to place it here and also place it on Visitate at the same time. Then we are going to also check the children of C and it's going to be B and E, but we're only checking one child at a time. So we are going to use B and place it on the stack as well. So again, we check the top of the stack is B, okay? So we check the children for B, it is A, and we place it on the stack as well, right? So again, we are checking the top of the stack. Again, it's similar to uh, the procedure for Q, we are checking the top of the stack here. So here in the top of the stack, we have A, the children of A is none, there is no child for A. So we are going to pop A from the stack. Now, related to the queue, in the case of queue, once you have an element with children, you place it on the queue. But in the case of stack, once an element has no children, you remove it from the stack. So take some time to get your head around it. Once an element does not have any child, simply remove it from the stack. So we check A, no child, no children, we remove it from the stack. Again, we check the top of the stack, we have B. B has children, but they are visited. So we are going to be, we are checking for unvisited children. So let me just get it right. So unvisited children. Yeah, so that's what you need to have in mind. All right, so B uh, does not have, does he have any unvisited children? No, we're gonna pop it from the stack. Now we go to C. C has unvisited children. In this case, we have E, right? So we are going to place E on top of the stack and also add it to the visited array, okay? Actually, E, I'm kind of mixing things up. So we have, we place E and also place it on the visited. So we, all, we are checking the top of the stack, so E, we check for only one child. This time we're always going left. We check left first. So E has children D and H, but we're only checking the left child first. And we are going to place, um, we have E, so we are going to place D on top of the stack and also place it here. Okay, we are checking the same D. D on top of the stack, does he have any child? No, pop it from the stack. We are now going down to E. Does E have any unvisited children? Yes, which is F. And we are going to place it on top of the stack and also add it to the visitate, okay? And now the next we are going to check is on top of the stack we have F. Does F have any child or children? No, pop. On top of the stack we have E. Does E have any unvisited children? No, pop. 
On top of the stack here we have C. Does C have any unvisited children? No, we visited everything. G, uh, B, E, A, D, F, they already visited, so pop. All right, so we have now G on top of the stack. Does G have unvisited children? Yes. So the visited children are I, okay? So I'm gonna put I on top of the stack and also put I right here, okay? So I'm gonna check for I. On top of the stack, we have I. Does I have unvisited children? Yes. We are checking the left first, so it's gonna be H. I'm gonna also put it unvisited here. We're gonna check H. Does H have unvisited children? No. I'm gonna pop it from the stack and uh, we now check I. I have one visited children, which is J. I'm going to add it to the stack and also add it to the visited uh, nodes. On top of the stack, we have J. J have one visited child, which is K. Place it on the stack, place it right here as well. On top of the stack, we have K. Does it have one visited children? No, pop. J, does J have any one visited? No, pop. I, does I have any unvisited pop? Go down to G, does G have any unvisited children pop? All right, so this is a DFS uh, traversal of this node. So basically it goes one, two, three, four. So it's go, it goes down, let me just take this, it goes down this way and goes down this way, goes down this way, comes here, goes down this way, goes down this way and goes down this way. So this is basically the depth for such algorithm, how it works. Let's now go to the next path and let's write the Python code. I'd like you to kind of do an exercise, try to use the breadth for such uh, code we wrote in Python before now to try to write the code for depth for such and then you continue in the next path.